Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Welcome back to another exciting episode of GTA Online. In this one, time is of the essence because we're nearing your final shot to make the most of some of the most truly astounding solo passive income generation methods for swift and effortless in-game wealth in this game. We only have two days left from when this video gets posted for players to take advantage of one of the big money bonuses on Acid Lab Cell Missions, where you can make over $754,000 in passive money every few hours. Now, the opportunities don't end there as well, because we're also going to be exploring some ways to generate your product faster, which is going to be pretty fun to do. So buckle up and let's roll. As you guys can probably tell, we're sitting in front of our Acid Lab right now, so why don't we just head inside and check on our Acid product see how much there is and if there's enough we can sell and as you can see the value of it right now is five hundred two thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars this is a full stock of product for our acid lab we're gonna be selling this now with the 50% extra money you're making five hundred and two thousand dollars like I said instead of the usual three hundred and thirty five thousand if you guys have the equipment upgrade if you don't have the equipment upgrade you're gonna make two hundred thirty seven thousand six hundred dollars usually and I think right now with the bonus and you don't have the equipment upgrade that's going to be about three hundred and fifty six thousand dollars now one of the amazing things about the asset lab and we're going to be talking about this as we sell some of this product right here so with this bonus like i said five hundred and two thousand dollars for your sell i guess somehow i started a resupply mission and i didn't sell my product whoops i didn't mean to do that all right as i was saying we need to sell our asset here we're going to be selling it for five hundred and two thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars now as we do our sell mission it's very simple to do it as a solo player fast and easy but as we do our sell mission here and, and it looks like this is a simple drop of basically just delivering it to a destination so first things first was i wanted to talk about the various destinations and delivery types you can you can have sometimes you have five drops sometimes you have 10 drops for the acid where you're basically throwing the acid tabs out that are bundled up in little newspaper um and then you also have the mega drops where basically you do your drop all at once like this and we have to sell it to the city we're coming from blaine county we're coming up from sandy shores area now sometimes you will get basically fooled here with these missions and you'll get tricked by the fib and you'll be thinking you'll be delivering your acid but it turns out it's just a sting operation you get the cops on you and then you get an alternate second drop off that you need to bring the acid to all while trying to lose the cops and then once you deliver it to the second basically plan b drop off then you're good to go and the mission is complete. Now, like I said, if you do this in an invite-only lobby, you're getting almost $503,000 for the sell mission. But if you sell with a max high demand bonus with 21 plus players in your GTA Online public lobby, you can actually make over $750,000. In fact, you'll be making $754,200 to be exact per full Acid Lab sell mission. So that is honestly really, really awesome. Now, when it comes to players having the question of if it's worth having the equipment upgrade, absolutely, because not only does your profit jump by 40% if you're normally buying supplies and you have the equipment upgrade versus buying supplies and not having the equipment upgrade, but you're also saving a ton of time. Your total value of your sale is increased if you have the equipment upgrade, as well as the time to produce full stock also decreases. So this is a very, very good business that you could do solo. Basically, it's passive money except for the delivery. You can have this running in the background. All the while you do this, you can do your Cayo Perico run. You can do your Dr. Dre contract. You could do the other deliveries that I like to do, the exporting mixed goods, for example, for your CEO office. You can do your bike and motorcycle club bike delivery. You can do your auto shop delivery, your gun running bunker delivery for the easy 50,000. You could even source some nightclub goods if you want, although that isn't like the most profitable thing to be doing over time. You do get paid a little bit of money. You do get some nightclub goods but that's about it let's see so it appears that we have a sting operation here and so what we're gonna want to do you can either just go into the trunk and put one of the cars or uh, put one of the acid products in there but what I like to do here is just to real fast just shoot we're gonna get the uh, the law on us here we need to lose a three-star wanted level and then basically once we lose that wanted level we need to deliver our acid to a secondary drop off so I will see you guys in a moment when we lose our wanted level all right and it appears we lost our wanted level now just something to note say if you lose your wanted level and you're wondering why you're getting the cops back on you you need to stay away from the area that you tried to and attempted to drop your acid off at because this still has the law you have the approach helicopter 
and basically the scouting helicopter you have all the lawmen around it and you have all the cops so you definitely want to avoid that otherwise you're just going to get your three star one level basically back and it uh, According to the map right now, we need to deliver our acid to... I thought it was the Freak Shop, but it, it's, it looks like it's the Diamond Casino. For a second, I thought we were delivering it to the same place we store our acid lab, which would, honestly would have been really, really funny in my opinion. But this is... I, I do prefer this sort of the mission, or this type of mission. I don't really like delivering it to the 10 locations. It's not... I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys have a different preference. Um, I, at first I thought I always needed to put the acid lab in the trunk, but it turns out you don't need to do that. This is a lot of comments helped me on that way back when this DLC released. You just need to shoot some of the cops around there. You'll get the cops on you. You save all that time and trouble. So now we just drop our acid off. Boom. There we go. And now all we need to do is leave the area. Get out of here, sir. Looks like you won't be needing this vehicle anymore. Sucker. Let's head south. And I'd like to see that Oonga Boonga money pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Let's see that beautiful sum of money for just only a couple hours of passive money making. $502,720, which is absolutely amazing here to make. Just basically for like no work at all. Just a little bit of production time that you have to wait. Now, don't forget when you're looking to produce more acid, you get one chance per day to basically boost your acid production here. And this speeds it up by a significant amount, whether or not you have the equipment upgrade. Actually, if you have the equipment upgrade, which costs $750,000 on top of getting the acid lab itself from doing the first dose missions, this greatly increases the speed of your production right here. Now, of course, this is only one opportunity a day that you can take advantage of this. But basically, if you're only going to sell one batch of acid per day because you're only on for a couple hours playing GTA Online, then... Producing your acid by boosting it is extremely worth it. Even if you're not going to be taking advantage of it that much, you might as well, every time you log into the game and before you either sell or start producing acid, make sure you boost your product. It is very, very worth it. Now, of course, now that we've sold all our products, we're going to need to replenish some of our stock so that we could start producing more acid inside the back of our Brigade 6x6. So all you need to do if you want to do these resupply missions, because this is your last couple days to also take advantage of the fact that you're getting double the supply when you're doing these resupply missions yourself usually I wouldn't recommend it but when we have double resupply missions or double supplies from the resupply missions which is stealing supplies it actually is kind of worth it and especially if you're a newer player here who necessarily doesn't want to cut all of your profits especially if you don't have the equipment upgrade then you definitely want to do uh, some of the supply sourcing yourself so that's what we're gonna take advantage of right now all you need to do is just go to your phone call mutt and then choose the option to source the supplies yourself my cat just jumped off the desk behind me. Then you should get a phone call right now, and you could just cancel the call. Boom. We need to go to the Deluda Mall Depot, and what we're going to need to do is steal this truck and deliver it to the Acid Lab. Now, since our Acid Lab is parked in the city here, it's nice that we got this objective because we don't actually need to go that far. This is a relatively easy resupply mission to do. We're going to take our beautiful Itali RSX that, oh, unfortunately, we just sideswiped on that that street lamp right there. Oh my god, this, I, you know, I'm honestly not used to driving this thing. This thing's sliding all over the place. This Deluda Mall Depot wasn't too far away. All you need to do is search the depot. We just need to get the schedule is what we need to do here. So there's going to be some enemies, and I think I am just going to take them out here just to make it easy for myself. You should see like a little checklist. Boom, it pops up with a little arrow to the right of my character. You guys are all destroyed. Get lost, suckers. We need to steal this delivery schedule. Can you let me take it? There we go. And now we just need to search the vans for the supplies. Coming up on our first van location. Do you have our supplies, my man? Oh, this is it. So these are the supplies we have to steal. This was not too bad at all. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Wrong place, wrong time. This is my truck or my van. And all now all we need to do is just take it back to the acid lab. But first, they're going to make us lose the cops, which I don't know why I didn't get cops on me right away. But considering... It's only a three star. This is going to be relatively easy to outrun. And of course, they spawn right in front of me too. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Now, of course, just don't forget when you're doing these resupply missions, sometimes you take stuff back to the truck, depending on if it's one of the like biohazard resupply missions where you need to take a crate back. But when you steal the truck, 
you, I think, pretty much always need to take it back to the Freak Shop, even if your Acid Lab is removed from the warehouse itself. So that was a very simple and easy resupply mission. Boom, the supplies have been delivered, and we should be good to go. Our Acid Lab, I think, also should be in the spot we left it, which should be over here. So that's pretty much it. Now, when it comes to these resupplies, like I said, it normally takes four resupplies to fill up your Acid Lab again if you're going to be stealing so the supplies. But this is your final two days here if you're looking to take advantage of this, where when you source supplies and steal them, you actually get double the resupply, so it's only going to take two resupplies in total to fully restock your Acid Lab so that you can keep producing for lots of fast and easy money here in GTA Online. So with all that said, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you guys found it helpful, hopefully I earned your like, Ghana, and of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we will keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.